Welcome guys to the Crazy Hands Knitting and Crocheting channel. And in this video tutorial I will show you how I was knitting these beautiful cable mittens. Uh, the written instruction you can find on my blog. I posted it long long time ago, maybe uh, two or three years ago already. But I've got so many questions because I've, I have written only instructions for the left mitten and only partially for the right mitten, so I've got so many questions. By the way, you can find uh, another mitten's long one uh, with the same cable and without ribbon. So everything on my blog, check the link down below. For these mittens, I didn't wash them yet, so that's why they're a little bit wrinkled. I was using two sizes of double pointed needles for the ribbon. Part I was using three millimeters knitting needles. You can use 3.25, 3.25, and for the cable a little bit bigger. I'm using here 3.5. Uh, you can also use 3.75, for example, will will be work as well. And for the main part, I am using only four double uh, knitting needles, and I will see and show you why. The yarn. Again, the yarn, I don't have a label, I don't know the brand, but I know that it's um, wool yarn. And the thickness reminds me of uh, worsted weight, or you can also use uh, Aran uh, yarn, so actually the same. But before, please check the gauge, and if it is more or less the same, so you can use the yarn you want. And now the information, you can skip this information and start knitting. You will return to this information later on. For the left hand you have all instructions and I will show you everything. For the right hand, at the end, when you split and when you place extra 10 stitches for the uh, thumb, then the next round will be you're going to knit so what's happened here? You're going to need all stitches for the cable part, then need three, and then need two together, and then need all stitches till the end. Next round, you again need all stitches here. Then here, what happens? Need two, need two together, and need all other stitches. And then in the next round, as far as I remember, there will be cable twist. So check. Well, whether it's right or left will be in your case. Then you knit one, then you knit two together, and then you knit all other stitches till the end. And go on knitting uh, the same as the left hand mitten. Another difference that left hand uh, mitten I started with a right twist and here with a left leaning twist. And like this, go on, go on alternating right and left leaning twists. If on, on the left hand it is right leaning twist, then on the right hand there will be left leaning twist. So that's it. Basically, no more differences. Other differences I will show you uh, during the uh, tutorial. If you want the folded cuffs, need the a ribbon a little bit longer than what I'm going to show you in the uh, in the video tutorial. So let's get started. I'm using long tail cast on method and three millimeters knitting needles. I take two at the same time and start casting on 40 stitches. 10 stitches for the first needle, then 10 for the second, 10 for the third, and 10 stitches for the fourth needle. Now take another two needles, place them on top of the first two, and go on. And please pay attention that there should be no distance between the last stitch and the first stitch, I mean, of the next needle here, no, no distance, so pull the tail.
and stitches here. And now I have only one needle, so I remove one from here and together, hold them together. Again, put them on top of the previous one and go on casting on 10 more stitches. Now remove one needle from here and one needle from here. Again hold them together, put them on top of the last needle and pull tail here. So two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one more stitch to join and knit in round. So one more extra stitch. So in total now you have 41 stitches. Now just check that all your stitches are looking in one direction. Put them on the table and let's count. Again. Exactly 41 stitches. And now to join and knit in rounds, I'm going to use invisible joining method that I'm usually using everywhere, especially for hats. Slip the first stitch to the right hand needle and then slip over the last stitch. Slip the last stitch over the first one and drop it off the needle. Pull the tail and return the first stitch to the left hand needle. You don't need here the stitch marker, you have a tail here. So you will understand where is the first, where is the beginning of the round. And start ribbing, knit one, purl one, till the end. Knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. I forgot to take the needle, so let me return these 10 stitches. Mm -hmm. The second needle, again, need one. Pearl one. Need one, pearl one. I'm going to show you only the first round. Need one, pearl one. Now the third needle. Need one. Pearl one. Need one, pearl one. Need one, pearl one. Need one, 
and the last needle. Knit one, purl one. Knit one, purl one. That's it. The second round you're going to repeat ribbon. Knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. And here I purl through the back loop. Please purl as you know. This is because it happens because I grab the purl stitch in a certain way in the previous round. So if my stitch is looking like this, I purl it through the front loop, that might be your case for sure, but here I just purl through the back loop, it's just a normal purl stitch. Go on ribbing until you reach six, uh, no, seven or eight centimeters. After the ribbing, switch to the 3.5 millimeters knitting needles and knit three rounds, purl one, knit 18, purl 1, knit 20. I have already done this uh, three rounds, so this is the round number four. And purl 1, knit 18, And purl one again. You see, I purl through the back loop. It, it it might not be your case, so purl as you know, as you usually do. Here, now knit sixteen, and we are going to make increases for the left mitten, left hand mitten. So. After the purl one, knit 16, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, you see 4 stitches left and now you make reverse yarn over. So the yarn coming from the back to front. And then knit 4. Row number, round number 5. Purl one, knit eighteen, as you see I'm using here already three double pointed knitting needles, it is because I didn't find one more needle of needed size, but you don't need it, and you will see why. So we need 18 purl 1, and now here we added one more stitch, so need 21, and I will show you how you're going to need the reverse yarn over stitch. So reverse, whether it is reverse yarn over stitch or um, just yarn over stitch. 
you always need them in the next round in a way to avoid the hole. So for the reverse yarn over stitch, you are going to knit it always through the front loop like this. Otherwise, if you knit it through the back loop, you will get a big hole and we don't need it, of course. Knit all stitches till the end. In the next round, round number six, we are going to make one more increase. So purl one, knit 18. So these are first 20 stitches are stitches of the cable. Knit 18. At the end, purl one. And now, in the previous round, we did knit 16. Now we added one more stitch. Then, knit 17. Or if you don't want to count, just as soon as you have four stitches at the end, like what I have now, make again a reverse yarn over and knit four. In the next round, there will be first cable twist, and here you will need an extra needle or cable needle. Pearl one, knit six. Now slip next six stitches to the extra needle. So I'm using the same needle three. Or let me show you like this. So you slip next six stitches to the extra needle and hold them in back. Bring the yarn in front. So hold the next six stitches in back, then knit six, one, two, three. So now I have 10 stitches and three more. One, two, three, until you have one pearl stitch. And then bring the yarn in back the cable needle and knit six from the cable needle or extra needle. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Remove the cable needle and purl one. So I think, let me, I think I have to bring the first 20 stitches to one needle and it will be easier, otherwise I will confuse you always. Now knit 22. So we added already two stitches. It was knit 20. 
then 21 and 22. So what I want, I want to slip first 20 stitches to one needle. Sorry for confusing you, but it will be easier, yeah? Now you see the cable twist. And next 20 stitches I divide in 10. 10 and 12 in this case already. And don't forget to knit the reverse yarn over through the front loop to avoid the hole. Through the front loop and knit 4 at the end. Round number 8. Again, in the next round we are going to make increases. Purl 1. Knit 18. Pearl one, now again here, knit 18, or knit till the end, until you have 4 stitches. Till this point, here one more four stitches. Make again a reverse yarn over and knit four. After that, knit alternating row rounds with increases and without increases, where you just uh, knit the reverse yarn over through the front loop and like this knit round 9, 10, 11 and 12 and I will see you when we are going to, to make the next cable twist. So we did it to the right now and next one will be to the left. Here I am, I've done 12 rounds after the ribbon part and in the previous round I did a reverse yarn over, here it is. And now round number 13, we are going again to need the cable needle at the beginning. So slip purl 1 and slip next 6 stitches to the extra needle. This time hold the needle in front. Then knit 6, from the left hand needle, and knit 6, from the extra needle. That is why we are using the bigger size knitting needles for the cables. A little bit tough here. Now knit 6. And purl 1.
here need all stitches till the end it will be 25 need 25 and don't forget to need reverse yarn over through the front loop And I wanted also to add to you that we are going to make cable twists every six rounds. Through the front loop and knit four. So what does it mean every six rounds? Here in this round we did a cable twist. Now knit next five rounds. And then we are going to make one more cable twist. So look how increases are looking so they turned to the left and it means we are we were doing we are doing the left hand meeting so now need need the next round making only a yarn over increase reverse yarn over increase here the next round need without increases and three more rounds until the next cable twist it will be again a right leaning cable twist after right leaning cable twist need five more rounds and make a left leaning cable twist like what we did just now and don't forget you you still going on making increases and alternating rows without increases and with increases and as soon as you make the left the second left leaning decrease i will meet you at that point and i will show you how we are going to split stitches for the sump if you did everything what i said before then it means that you have done 25 rounds and after the round number 25 need two more rounds 26 and 27 where in round 26 you are going to make again a reverse yarn over increase and in twin in round 27 you are going to need all stitches and need reverse yarn over through the front loop and that's how the mitten look now and in total we did 12 increases and in the next round I'm going to place stitches for the sump for this you will need a stitch mark, stitch holder or a scrap yarn I'm going to use the scrap yarn and this is round number 28 purl 1 and knit 18 Curl one now need eighteen again So 18, now place next 10 stitches on scrap yarn, for this I take the tapestry needle, you can use also hook, and thread this tail 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's easier. You will, you will have again four stitches at the end. Then knit four, and here pull tight to avoid the hole again. So leave these four uh, ten stitches like this. You can uh, make a knot if you want. And we are going to return to them later while knitting a thumb gusset. So the next round, purl one and knit 18. So no more increases. There will be just three rounds with decreases and that's it. So purl 1, knit 18, purl 1 again, knit 17, until you have 5 stitches. Then eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Now, when you have five stitches left, knit two together. And knit three. So we will decrease three stitches out of that four that we have. In the next round, round number 30. Again, we will make one decrease here. Pearl one, knit 18. Girl one again knit seventeen or until you have four stitches at the end. One more. Now knit two together and knit two. And round number 31. Here we are going to make a right leaning twist, right leaning cable twist. So purl one, knit six, take the, the cable needle and slip next six stitches and hold them in back. And this is the last round where we are going to make decreases. After that there will be no decreases and just Kneading in the round and making cable twists. Knit six from the left hand needle. Then 
then knit 6 from the cable needle. A little bit tight here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and pearl one. That's how it looks. Now again, knit 17 or until you have three stitches. One more. Knit two together. And knit one. Okay, we've done all decreases, no more decreases. After that, knit five more rounds. Just knit as what you see. Like pearl one, knit 18, pearl one, and knit 19. And I will see you after. Okay, and now it's time for left linear decrease. Let's look what I have. I've done five more rounds, and here are decreases. That's how they look. When you wash uh, your mitten, they will be absolutely invisible, I promise you. So one more twist, pearl one. Slip next six stitches to the extra needle. And hold them in front. Knit six. Then knit, knit six from the extra needle. And knit six from the left hand needle. And pearl one. After that, finish this round. Just knit all stitches till the end, knit 19. And after that, knit 5 more rounds and make a right linear cable twist, like we did before here. Then again, 5 more rounds and make a left linear cable twist. And after you make a left linear cable twist, if you have the same gauge, the mitten will reach the tip of your little finger. If not, you can just knit a couple of more rounds, like the pearl one, knit 18, pearl one, uh, knit 19, and then I will see you after when you reach the tip of your little finger. Here I am, and that's what I have. Let me show you what I meant. That's what I have now, if you check. so the tip of my little finger. I've done two more cable twists. So I've done in total uh, 49 rounds. And now I am ready to start making decreases. We are going to make decreases in each round and there will be seven rounds of decreases. So you have done a uh, left linear cable twist if it's when we are talking about left mitten and pearl one now 
sleep next stitch knit next one and pass over so slip knit pass over then knit 14 14 knit two together and pearl one so we did a here right linear decrease pearl one and turn again slip knit pass over now knit 15 And at the end, knit two together. And that's what we are going to repeat next six or five, at least five rounds. Pearl one, slip knit, pass over. Now knit 12. Knit two together and pearl one to burn. Slip knit pass over. Knit thirteen. And at the end, knit two together. Like this, go on decreasing three more rounds. Pearl one, slip knit pass over. At the end, knit two together, pearl one. Here again, slip knit pass over. And, and at the end here, knit two together. Three more rounds. And I will see you after. In this round we are going to make not only decreases but also a cable twist. So now we don't purl the first stitch, we make right away slip knit pass over. Then in this round we will have a right linear decrease, so knit two. So we are going to twist two stitches instead of six that we did before. Slip next two stitches to the extra needle and hold them in back. Then knit two from the left hand needle and knit two from the extra needle. And at the end you have here on this side two stitches knit two together. Again I repeat there will be no pearl stitches anymore. Knit two together and turn. Here 
here sleep need pass over then need five and need two together in the next round again we are going to make decreases as we did before sleep need pass over need four and need two together Turn here again, slip knit pass over. Knit three. And knit two together. And turn so that's what we have and uh, in front we have more stitches than in back it's correct and now we are going simply knit two together all the way around and at the end there will be just one single stitch just knitted let's do it knit two together knit two together Knit two together, turn, knit two together, let's place the stitch to the next needle. Again, knit two together and knit one, as I said, just single stitch knitted. That's it, you have six stitches now. Cut the yarn, leaving a tail at least 10 centimeters. I have a long tail, I'm sorry I don't see scissors. Thread the tail. You can use hook or yarn needle or tapestry needle. And pull the yarn needle through remaining stitches. And the tail, of course. Okay, close the top and now pull the tail to the wrong side in into the center Make a knot here. And we will end. 
just randomly underneath pull the needle underneath stitches on the wrong side you can make one more knot but i'm sure everything will be all right especially because i have a wool yarn and i'm going to wash them after okay that's it and now let's start with the thumb gusset let me show you how it looks and it's time for the gusset now so slip all stitches we have 10 them from the waist yarn to the needle it can be one needle it can be two needles Take the new tail and between those 10 stitches we have to pick up 4 more stitches, 2 from this side and 2 from this side. So to get in total 14 stitches. So how do you usually pick up? Uh, if you need it before mittens you know if you pick up just following the stitches you will get most probably that you will get holes so for this i leave the tail in case you will get holes but i will try not to get them let's slip all 10 stitches to one needle because it's not comfortable for me now so I find the stitch like a bar a little bit behind the edge and pick up the first stitch through this bar or the stitch a little bit on the wrong side And don't forget to leave the tail then the next one just check if you pick up like this will you get the hole no perfect then the next one will will I get the hole no perfect and then one more again you on the wrong side find the the stitch and pick up one more stitch here so we have 10 and 4 and as you see no holes so far we will see when we need a little bit further you can place stitch marker here or just remember and start knitting Need all stitches around let's add one more needle to get three in total So the tail, the tail you can hide inside now, just put it inside or later, just don't care about the tail. So we did one round, place the stitch marker if you need 
as I said. And let's do the second round and after that you will knit on your own. So like this, finish this round and then knit in stocking and stitch until the piece reaches the tip of your thumb. And I will show you how we are going to make decreases. Welcome guys, that's what I have. I didn't count how many rounds I did, but we'll show you how it looks. So I reached the tip of my thumb and ready to start making decreases. Look at the place where we picked up stitches. It looks perfect. There is no hole, so I don't basically I don't need this long tail. I just weave it in and at the end. But don't worry, if you have holes, it's okay, it's normal. So just use this tail and stitch it. So so there will be three rounds of decreases. Knit two, then knit two together, then knit three, again knit two together, again knit three, And knit two together. This is the round number one. Round number two. Knit one. Knit two together. Knit two. Again, knit two together, knit two, and knit two together. Round number three. Knit two together. Knit one. Then knit two together again. For this I need one more stitch, so let's place it here. And make knit two together. Knit one and knit two together. That's it. Again, cut the yarn. Thread the tail, thread the tail through remaining stitches. There will be five stitches in total. The same. Pull the tail to the wrong side through the center. Knit 
make a knot at end weave. One more and I'm ready to cut. So that's it. There will be one more tail. This one. Just pull it on the wrong side and make a knot and do the same what we just did. At how it looks and one more tail here at the beginning on the wrong side I usually pull the yarn underneath the V stitch, one side of V stitch. This is the pearl stitch on on the right side, and it looks like a knit stitch on the wrong side. Pull here. You can also use hook if you don't have a needle, and this one. That's it guys, don't forget to wash your mittens. And now I want you to show a little bit how I was doing the right mitten. So this is the left one, perfect fit, so as I said make a a little bit longer ribbon and then you can fold cuffs. Now for the right mitten I'm going to need a ribbon and three rounds after the ribbon and I will see you and show you how to make these increases. So guys I've done ribbon, I've done three rounds after the ribbon and this is the round number four where I'm going to make increases so here we did increases to the left and for the right hand we are going to make them to the right that was actually the question always that i get and so many comments on my blog so here pearl one need 18 18, pearl 1 and turn. So here need 4 as you remember there is there are 4 magic stitches that we always hold and do not touch while we're decreasing. So before we were doing reverse yarn over and now we are doing just a yarn over bringing the yarn from front to back. So that's it and need all other stitches till the end. In the next round again we are going to need this yarn over stitch in the way to avoid the hole. So I have done 
round number four then make round number five and round number six just don't want to make it and i want to show you the right away round number seven because i want to show you that we started from the left leaning decrease sorry from the right leaning decrease on the left meeting and here we start from the left leaning decrease curl one slip next six stitches and hold them in front then knit six from the left hand needle and knit, knit six from the extra needle again guys you don't skip round number five and round number six in round number five you need all stitches as you see them and um, need the yarn over stitch through the uh, back loop and then you need round number six where you make again need four and make a yarn over stitch and round number seven here i show you round number seven because i want to show you how that there will be different um, cable twist and here need four and as i said yarn over stitch through the back loop needed to avoid the hole now knit all other stitches till the end and i will show you one more time how to make increase so again Pearl one, no twists. Pearl one, knit eighteen. Pearl one and here need four, so always need four. Then yarn over from front to back and need all other stitches till the end. And in the next round don't forget to knit yarn over stitch through the back loop so you repeat absolutely the same the same amount of uh, the same number of rounds just different cable twists and yarn over from the other side so in total, go on making increases and there will be in total 12 increases. After you make them, you are ready to separate the thumb and the main part as we did by slipping 10 stitches. How you are going to do it? Pearl 1, knit 18, pearl 1 then knit four then place next 10 stitches to the scrap yarn and then knit 18 so this is for the right hand and then you will decrease these three stitches out of four you left and go on knitting 
in rounds, just alternating right and left leaning cable twists. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Uh, too long, uh, lots of information. I don't know whether it's clear for beginners. Please let me know. Um, maybe I confused you even more. But really try these meetings. They are looking gorgeous. Uh, one of my favorite. Thank you so much one more time. Please subscribe to my channel and see you soon in my next video tutorials. Bye!